we are back for more so let's continue where we left off by ending the turn yeah of course they took that bastards so first things first let's resecure this traitor outpost over here and try to do fun things I want to just make sure that this is actually a secure area and to that end I think I'm gonna kind of waste a little bit of movement um, I need to make sure that that enemy hovercraft like these tomb blades can't come up so here's a beach where you can enter the water I need to make sure that that like this is where they enter not over here it's a little important um, one of them is very close to my city is basically why it's important oh look what we found that's cute okay and yeah um, you can enable this little edges marker um, I guess on release that wasn't a thing and it pissed everyone off but uh, these days you can do that so I want to capture this territory yeah the wire weed is really really giving me a hard time right now I think one thing I'm gonna do is clear wire weed right here so that I can move units from here this city is not going to be a production hub but it's gonna be an an ore generating city so I might need to reinforce it if the enemy tries to do a run by or some similarly irritating maneuver um, but we unlocked annihilation barges now annihilation barges are incredible Ooh, I just noticed that I have access to this as well, well that's not a bad city but not not really what I'm after. This thing is sitting on top of a Necron tomb and it would give me access to energy, which is pretty nice. Huh. I don't feel like sieging that thing just for a little energy. Also, going here, I think I'm gonna make another city right over here. So to that end, I'm gonna build one more of these spiders. Um, so I've got the Annihilation Barges, we're building a normal Lord right now. I'm going to take efficient re reanimation protocols, because it's going to be a long time before I can do a Destroyer Lord, I think. So we're going to step up, step up, freaking Wireweed, making my life Miz over here well it might be safe yeah it looks like it was safe come over here oh god um, what am I gonna do alright to save this thing I'm gonna have to do a lot but uh, that should keep it alive We'll see. Here's to hoping. Um, do I want to get rid of any more of this wire weed? I think it's fine. Then, can I settle the city? No, I have to be on top of it. Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. And then I, after doing that, I don't have resources, so I just need to unlock stuff. Yeah. All right. Pew pew pew. Again, these vespids are really annoying in the early game. So we're gonna step this way. Oh, maybe I should come over here. Oh, got lots of good city options today. Yeah, getting this ore. All right, we got our next city. I'm going to go ahead and capture this ore, and then I'm going to 
slow push this one yeah I knew it all right let's bring this guy over this guy did manage to survive so I'm bailing I can't really fight those giant robot dudes for now um, they're like the bane of the early game they're such tanky little fuckers very hard for certain factions including the Necrons to deal with um, I should say that's partially because I I'm not doing things like Immortals because I don't have the DLC uh, Immortals might help with that a little bit but well I don't know so let's Oh, and that's where the hive is, okay. We're gonna do our little defensive triangle over here. And then try to take defensive positions so that we don't get bopped by this guy. Okay, let's move here. Um, and by the way, the city bonus is the same as the forest bonus. I don't know if I mentioned that or if I just mentioned that being in the city gives you a bonus. But damage reduction is very, very good. That's what we want to see. Um, I can't afford these, which means I need to start building energy production. And that'll have to be good enough. Oh, my God. Is that enough crude hounds to kill my stack? Oh, I think it might be. Damn. Oh, it lived. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. Um, how do I want to do this? So if I, if I do this, it's not going to work. Oh, this is, this is too much. Too much. Um... I'm going to bring this guy over here, pull this guy back to here, blocking with the wire weave, wire weed. Uh, I'm going to stand on this wire weed, then I'm going to shoot this guy, and then I'm just going to wait with all of those things because yeah I'm definitely coming up here I need these these power nodes and this yeah it's gonna be amazing um, basically all of these guys are gonna overwatch so if this guy steps here this and this will shoot him and so if these guys step out of the forest they're dead so that's the plan um, we got our first hero unit. This is a Necron Lord. He's, uh, I don't know, he's a little tanky. He's kind of kind of weird. Um, the main thing I like about him is he can do this, and this increases the population limit of my cities. So in that way, I don't really have to build the, the city building that does that. I can just spam lords if I need to. So that's the plan there. Um, and it looks like, all right, put all that to sleep. We secured that. Have I unlocked the Slave Mastaba yet? No, no, I haven't. Okay, well, balls. What needs to happen? So this game is kind of a balancing act between, um, building everything so you, you want to increase your ore but you also need to make enough energy so that you can do something every turn so the balancing act of getting that done is the hard part oh these guys have infiltrate how super annoying but it looks like my good positioning prevented me from getting completely wiped so that's nice um, then I think, 
Hell, I think we need to back up or we're going to be toast. Maybe I can back up very carefully. Like this, maybe? Hmm. Okay. And then hopefully I can rotate my lord to come over here. Uh, one nice thing is heroes get a 50% damage reduction. So they're really good at dealing with sort of all the trash mobs in the early game. Uh, we're going to take this as well. I don't think this guy's going to get attacked, but just in case he does, we're going to do that. Then I'd like to come over here and clear this wire weave, but I just can't. So instead I'm going to come over here and clear this wire weave as I move this guy over to the city. So I need 80 and 80. He's not going to have enough next turn. I need to not spend any resources this turn if possible. Um, let's move you right here. Move you right here. Okay. Order units. Man, those warriors are super delayed. Um, getting slave mastabas is really important. Getting scarab hives, actually, if you if you build one of those spider guys that I built, you can just spam these things over and over. And I've, I want to try rushing for this tech and then just spamming and filling the entire goddamn board with these free units. But, uh... For now, we're not going to do that. I think we are going to take Slave Mastabas. So these things, uh, all cities start with one. It's right here. It gives you production towards building new buildings. What this lets you do is dramatically accelerate your... Um, oh, yeah. Why would you use Hammer of Wrath when you're not attacking? The AI does some really weird stuff in this game. Like, not, not defensible stuff at all. Oh, I thought I was able to make it, but apparently I wasn't. Well... Huh. That's a bit of a bummer. Okay... I guess... These guys can stand on wire weave, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, and now that that thing isn't controlling space. One other thing I should mention. So around every unit is a zone of control. So I can't, with this guy for example, I can't run here because I'll get stopped by his zone of control here. And the wire weave will stop me here. So that's just one example of how you have to sort of pay attention to the terrain in order to not get destroyed. Let's yeah, I wanna I wanna pick up this research thing. Then keep moving over here. Then I think it's safer to have this guy come over here. Alright, and now we're gonna clear this tile. We're going to get trolled by random garbage. Okay, and now we're going to really upset this thing by... Oh, enslavers. Fuck. Alright, well, hopefully this enslaver doesn't come over and enslave my lord. They can enslave heroes. It's super irritating. Um, How much damage does that do? So, 3.7. That'll be 7.4. Plus 7.4. That should be lethal. Let's go. Oh, they're not the same level, but that's okay. We are overkilling a little bit anyway. So that's perfectly fine. Let's see. Move this guy here. This guy here. This guy up here. We're going to settle another city, and we are going to take over this ore production. Now right now it might look like 
I'm going completely amok and getting way too much ore. I assure you I'm not. I'm going to need every last little bit of ore that I can possibly gather in order to... Uh, well, this is like a really weird narrow choke. Um, in order to facilitate my army. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about soon enough. Um, six out of eight. Oh, there's another thing. So if you exceed your required population, uh, you take a production penalty, basically. So the resource output is reduced. And now you see my loyalty is getting low. So after the Slave Mastaba, my next research is going to be the loyalty building, probably. But for the time being, I'm going to go ahead... Hmm. Yeah, I've got a lot of options. Research is okay. I think I would rather build another one of these temples that I can't afford. And the very fact that I can't afford it means I should be considering, like, energy... energy nodes. So I think I'm just going to sacrifice the production bonus from this because generating as much energy as I can per turn is really important, especially um, I need to generate at least 60 per turn so that I can always build one of those, basically. Build an Annihilation Barge, that is. Oh god. Well, that was a mistake. Um, is that unrecoverable? That looks unrecoverable, so he's probably just fucking dead. Oh, he might be dead too. Eh, he's got a lot of support. I don't think the one devil is gonna gonna get him. Oh, yep. Okay, he's dead. Man, line of sight is a real real bummer in this game. Let me tell you. So the main problem here is that this thing is gonna destroy my life. I have to just run over here and shit out a bunch of damage on these enslavers uh, otherwise I'm just gonna die so that's what I'm gonna do is try and kill the enslavers and then probably this thing is dead for sure this thing is dead this thing is dead so I just lost half my army basically by moving into the darkness oh they retreated okay well I, I guess that counts as a merciful AI thing. I don't know. Um, but since my endeavor was somewhat successful, now I'm in a weird position because I very much need to kill that enslaver that I just picked a fight with. So I'm actually going to push forward as far as I can. Oh yeah, sure. Put that guy in the way, why not? Um, let's back it up a little bit. What am I doing here? I guess I'm killing this thing. And then, looks like killing the enslaver is impossible. So I'm gonna move over here and try and take this thing out without getting killed. And it looks like I pulled it off, which is great. So, more population for my cities. Very, very nice. Now, I can start making annihilation barges. But I think I'm going to wait just a little bit longer while I get all of my cities under control. Ugh. Yeah, this doesn't look great, but that's what I have to do. Pew, 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 pew. And then I want this city to start producing... Energy? Maybe? For now, I'm going to have it produce energy. Um, it's going to get a little complicated up there, but... Oh no, fuck. 
All right, so this is where the tankiness of the Necrons is going to fall a little bit flat. Um, they're tanky, but they're not tanky enough to withstand two of these things emoting on them at the same time, which is a real shame. Uh, that means none of these guys can contribute at all. I suspect that if I come over here, he's just going to blast me. Hmm. All right, I'm going to rotate these guys to come help over here. And I need to, to get to work on those Annihilation Barges. This is, this is a little bit too, uh, too spoopy for me. But looks like we are going to manage to at least push this guy back. Unfortunately, this guy is probably going to heal him. Really annoying. Really, really annoying. All right, we're going to do that. And if this guy survives, which he did, I'm just going to run him back towards the city. That should be okay. And then is this enough? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I can actually kill that robot. I think I can. I think this is enough damage, but we'll see. Yes, incredible. All right, robot down, thank fuck. Now, what do I even do? Rotate. Uh, I think I have to ignore the robot and just start shooting these guys so that my buddy over there doesn't die. Then we'll do something like this, maybe. Order cities. Now we can get started on an Annihilation Barge, and I think it'll be just fine. We can also get started on some research. Now nah, let's get started on another temple. So I'm going to turn this city into just a, just a unit producing factory. Oh, we finished the Slave Mastabas. I think this is going to be worth it now. Oh no, we have to take this. We have to get our loyalty situation under control. Oh my god. Look at all of this gray. This is ridiculous. Um. Oh. Ow. Okay. Huh. Alright, we can just one shot that dude. And then that guy's getting away, it looks like, but that's okay. We'll just go kill this dude instead. Great. Blessed sacrifice. Yeah, something like that. Um, I'm going to park this guy in the ruins. If this guy steps over here, he's going to get blasted by my city. So it'll probably be fine. Oh god, there's another fucking robot down there. So let's talk about this thing. These are relics. Um, there, I believe there are th only three relics in the game right now. But what they do is when you control them, they give you a map-wide benefit. So in this case, it's a siren caster. That means that all of my cities get plus two loyalty, and I get plus 10% requisitions. That means all of this stuff, 10% bonus. So that's pretty cool, pretty sweet. Um, this guy should probably rotate over here. This guy gained a level because we killed something, so that's cool. Order cities. Right now, my goal is to make a bunch of slave mastabas, but they take a lot of energy to build, so I'm going to start mass producing energy in all of my cities until all of my cities can build slave mastabas, 
and then uh, hopefully that'll do something. Oh boy. Oh hey, it's those enslavers I wanted to kill a million turns ago. Uh, that's the furthest you can go. 3.5 and 6.5, you have 11 HP. Three, ah, that's not enough. If I send that over there, he is super duper dead. Mm, I think I'll stand here instead. Okay. We'll go like this. Hey guys, Future Cardis here. Uh, these videos were too long, so I decided to break them up into smaller parts. I uh, hope you don't mind. Sorry for the awkward cuts. I'll see you guys in the next one.